17 is the addition to this race, a full grid of the 250s. Former British champion Adam Schiff, of course, in action in this seat of the 250s. So we should be in for a real quick race. The first race of the day, Danny Ball, very much on form at the present moment. He's the last rider to come onto the line then for race number one, JRM Engine, Speedway Services, of the sponsors of race number one. We thank all our sponsors very much in these difficult times for coming up with this sponsorship for the uh, meetings and good to see a full grid of 250s in for this opening race. Revving up then for race one away they go Adam Ship making a good start looks like Scott Campus is the one that goes with him number seven down Campus. <laughs> second place, big sweep round the outside of Bigelow, they're riding in that third place position, they go in the back straight once again then, it's Shipper Leeds and Boyle holding that second place position, that's the top two, Craig Drury's gone through into position number three, Terry Maskell back to go through into fourth place, and it's Shipper Leeds, got a wide running Danny Boyle holding that second place, that's that into the second place position. His ship leads it, but Boyle desperately trying to close the gap for a second. They can And Danny Ball making a big effort round the outside of that fifth corner. He comes alongside Adam Ship now as they move it on to lap four. Ship for the two minor manager of the ball. going into that top corner. Ship leads to the ball. In second place, Danny Ball's almost alongside him now as they go to the back straight once again. Danny Matthew has got the third. Well, Ashley Hill in fourth place. Into the fifth corner. Four behind off Danny Ball again. A big effort right round the edge of that fifth corner. Adam Ship sees him coming round the outside. Drifts wide to block the challenge. Danny Ball round the outside. Danny Ball gets the winning ride. Super start for the meeting there. Danny Ball wins eight. Race number one with Adam Schiff picking up the second place. Terry Maskham is in third. Anthony Hughes is fourth. Del Campus is in five. 98 in six. Amy Taylor is seventh. And Lawrence Farber is eighth place. Super racing there in race number one. Race number one then, sponsored by JRM Engine Speedway Services. Impressive win there for number 95, Danny Boyle. Second number 16, Adam Ship. And third, 213, Terry Massingham. 74, 78, 98, 28, and 17. 1 minute 29.69, 1 minute 29.69, all solos are included in this quickest time race, so that's the standard set in the first heat of the 250s. Practice then for Rod Winterburn and Liam Brown and Gareth Winterburn and Nathan Winterburn, they are the late arrivals to come into the... Uh, Big chair just having their two laps practice. We see Craig Drury just pushing back into the pits. What a great shame he just worked his way through. Machine problems there. Just repeat that if somebody can go and help the start marsh, he's having to do the tapes and the uh, starts on his own. If one of the marshals, if anybody in the pits can hear this, if somebody can go and help the uh, start marsh, it will be greatly appreciated, please. Right, race number two, pre-75 solos, sponsored by the family of Bill Barley. Right. And if, if you 
Don't want to know. Won't talk to you. Harris is in there the other night. Away we go then with race number two. Uh, Barry Lona making a good start. Mr. John Underwood has made the best from the Chris Magnet in the thick of the end. Underwood goes to the second gym break. Barry Lona is in fourth place. Chris Magnet is back in sixth place. They go to the back straight for the first time. Chris Magnet who was on beat in the uh, meeting yesterday. He's the leader for uh, John Underwood holding that second. Barry Lina has got that third place position. That's the top three going into the pitch corner on the opening lap and Lina making a move around the edge of Underwood to try and come through in the second place is Mackett leads him. Underwood in second. Lina in third. Blaine is in fourth place. Lambert is in five. Six in six. That's the six. They go to the back straight once again. Chris Mackett getting away at the front end. Still that good scrap run off the second and third places. John Underwood momentarily holds that second place and Lina in third. Lambert in Four. Smith is now up to five and looking at that fourth place of uh, Dave Lambert they move into the pits corner once again Mackett leads them but Underwood in second Lyman is up to third Lambert in four Smith in five Great Tricks is in six and the back straight leads them Chris Mackett continue with his form of yesterday while in control. Looks at John Underwood's consolidating that second place position. Line has got the third long gap back then to Dave Lambert in four with Chris Smith in five and Kim Greatrix in sixth place. On to lap four they go then. With Mackett the clear lead him. Underwood consolidating that second. Line has got the third. Lambert is in four. Smith in five. Greatrix in six. The leader halfway down that back slate on lap number four in his second of the afternoon. Chris Mackett in that fifth corner, 40 from more time. John Underwood gets a little bit closer there in second place, but it's Chris Mackey who picks up the winning ride. Second place is John Underwood, third place is Barry Lyman. Fourth is going to be Dave Lambert, five Chris Smith, and sixth place, Kim Greatrix. Race 2 won by number 68, Chris Mackett. Second number 77, John Underwood. And third, 246, Barry Liner. 127, 73, and 337. 1 minute 35.72. 1 minute 35.72. Race 3, sponsored by Speedway Services. 118's got Dunn and Paul Smith, number 30, Anthony Goodwin, Scott Goodwin, 55, Dave Carvel and Carl Webb, and number 16, Andy and Laura Carasong. <laughs> So the four crews out then for race number three, the first heat of the 500 sidecars. We've got to Scott Dunn on the inside, looks like. Coming next to him is uh, Andy and Laura Carris. And then we've got Dave Carville. And right on the outside, it's Anthony and Scott Goodwin. For this first heat of the 500s, takes play for me. The equal break with all the crews getting away. Anthony Goodwin's made a good start. Scott Dunn is also quickly away. And Scott Dunn is got the second, Carrison's in third, Carville back in fourth place, that's a four as they stream to the back straight for the first time then, Carville now looking to improve upon that third place, hunted down Carrison's for that third place position, but Scott Dunn has got away at the front then, it's still uh, Goodwin holding on to that second place position, they complete that one, Scott Dunn leads it, but Anthony Goodwin holding second, Carrison's is in fourth place, and it's Scott Dunn and Paul Smith, they're getting away at the front then, they're hunted down by Anthony and uh, Scott Goodwin in second place, and again Dave Carville looking for that third place but Carrison's hanging on to that third place and in fact pull away from Dave Carville as they go in that pits corner once again it's a wide riding Scott Dunn who has the advantage there for Goodwin one really wide there the third and fourth cruising out on the Carrison's have got that third Carville trying to find a way through on the inside nothing much between third, fourth and fifth now as they go to the back straight once again Dave Carville a real good go trying to get round the edge of Carrison to snatch that third place in turn the Carrison's are hunting down Anthony Goodwin for that second place it's Scott Dunn and Paul Smith well cleared the front onto lap four. Still good with all that second. Carrison's again trying to squeeze away from the inside. They they're going to be three of us going into that top corner for the second place position. Dave Carver's gone round the outside of Carrison to go for third. He's round the outside of Anthony Goodwin as well. Super ride there by Dave Carville. He's picked off two crews on the top corner. 
He's in second place now with Scott Dunn and Paul Smith get the winning ride. Second place goes to Dave Carver and Carl Webb with a super ride. Carrison's pick up third and Anthony Griffin after most of the race second finishes in fourth place. Super racing again in the first heat of the 500 sidecars. Race three result to win for 118 Scott Dunn and Paul Smith. Second number 55, Dave Carvel and Carl Webb. And third number 16, Andy and Laura Carrison. Fourth number 30. One minute, 31.71. One minute, 31.71. Race four, again, sponsored by Speedway Services. Emily Coughlin is a passenger for Simon Beard. You add in number 46, Richard Hollandale and Kim Greatrix. 97, Dean Norton. No, sorry, 971, Dean Norton and Joe Richmond. And 44, Gary Southgate and Sonia. Sonia Ed is the passenger for Gary Southgate. That's race number four. Yeah. Four crews on the line then for the second heat of the 500 so side cars racing for the Norman Southgate Memorial uh, Trophy this afternoon of course. <coughs> Starter walks away, everybody gets away, coming right across the track, there is 971D Norton, right in front of Richard Holling down River Rack in there. Second place, that's the top two, they go in the back straight for the first time, Richard Holling there has now lost that third place, and they race on the back straight on the opening lap. Simon Beard and Emmy Coglin, they're well cleared the front then. Dean Norton has got a second, Gary Southgate is in third, it's uh, Richard Hollindale in fourth place, they complete the opening then, Beard leads it. Third place position, but Simon Beard and Emily, Emily Cochran, they've stolen a march the front. They're well clear then. Dean Norton, Joe Richmond consolidating that second place position. It's still Gary Southgate in third. Richard Hollindale trying to close the gap on the third place rider. They complete two then. Norton in second. Southgate in the third. Hollindale is in Ball third in fourth place, they wall down the back straight once again. Simon Beard and Emily Coglin totally in control of the front. Dean Norton, Joe Richmond after moving right across the track at the, at the starting gate there, consolidating second place. Last that flag's ready then. For Simon Beard, Dean Norton holding second. Safe kick from the third. Hollandale is in fourth place. 500 sidecars, they need to down the back straight for the final time. Equally spread now the four crews in this heat number four. Impressive stuff from Simon Beard and Emily Coglin. They get the winning ride this time. Second place is going to be Dean Norton and Joe Richmond. Third place goes to Gary Southgate and Sonia Ed. And fourth place Richard Hollindale and Kim Greatrix. Race 4 result, sponsored by Speedway Services, a win for number 4, Simon Beard and Emily Coglin. Second number 971, Dean Norton and Joe Richmond. And third, number 44, Gary Southgate and Sonia Head. Fourth, number 46. 1 minute 32.67. 1 minute 32.67. Speedway Services sponsor event 2 as well. Delete 144 and number 82. They have one addition to race number five, a very important addition is British champion Richard Smith, number 33, is a late entry of the meeting as Bob Dolman leads going to Fantastic race here, meeting early on the season. They're at it again in the first city of the 350. Dolman on the inside, Smith making a move around the outside. Richard Reed has got that third place position. They get locked together, going into the pits corner. Dolman on the inside, Richard Smith again trying to come right round the outside. But Dolman rides a bit of a Dolman leads. 
Coppers will hold in that third place as it comes through into third place. Turtles in four Coppers there for the Chidri will hold in the same third place of Richard Finnegan. Having a go at Bob Dolman again, trying to find a way through on the inside of right between these two as they go into that pits corner once again. Super action and Dolman is now on the outside. Smith trying to come through on the inside. He gets on the inside lead by a bike. Will Dolman get back through on the inside? Quickly with Dolman in second. Glover has got the third. Third one is in fourth place. The ward in that back straight once again. Richard Smith now starting to get away from Bob Dolman after two scintillating laps in the first heat of the 350 Sol Solo. Dolman comes again trying to sweep round Smith, but Smith got back quicker line on the inside. Dolman in second, Glover's in third, Bertolt is in fourth place. The games have been lost as the leaders go down the back straight. Four deep falls on the first hit of very quick 350 action. It's Richard Smith who leads into that pits corner four deep for more time. Bob Dolman still hunting him down there in second place, but Richard Smith picks up the winning ride. Smith gets the winning ride. Second place, Bob Dolman. Third is going to be uh, Daniel Glover. Fourth will be Michael Third. Well, super action again in the first heat of the 350 solos. Super 350 action there in race number 5, won by 33, the reigning British champion Richard Smith. Second number 16, Bob Dolman. And third number 18, Daniel Glover. Fourth number 9. The winning time, quickest so far, and these times of course are important. 1 minute 26.92. 1 minute 26.92. Right, race 6, race 6, 1000 sidecars. Number 30, step line, Jason Gill. Number 25, Colin Blackbourne and Simon Elliott. And number 49, Gareth and Nathan Winterburn. Those are the three crews for race number 6. This race sponsored by Ducker Sidecars and Godfrey Silk. So out come the three crews and for race six, there will be a race 6A after this for the thousand sidecars with the addition of these uh, two crews coming in. Three crews then over on that far side of the track then for the first heat of the big chair step by Colin Blackburn and Gareth Winderburn. The three crews get away. Gareth Winderburn making a good start. Colin Blackburn has made the best of stars. He's already worked his way through into the lead position. Blackburn leads going in that top corner for the first time. Winderburn's on the shoulder of Colin Blackburn. He goes wide. Winderburn follows him round the outside line. Step by is in third place. Winterburn holding second, step right is in third place into that pits corner on the opening lap. It's Colin Blackburn, the new partnership of Simon Elliott in the chair this afternoon. They're getting away from Gareth and Nathan Winterburn. They hold that second place, but they're in trouble on that far side of the track. Then step right goes through into the second place position. Winterburn's now relegated back to third. Gareth Winderburn pulls onto the middle of the track there, so left with two runners in this race number six. But it's Colin Blackbourne and Simon Elliott well clear at the front end. Finn Step by and Jason Gill, they have got the second place position. Let's hope the Winderburns can get it sorted out for their next set of races. Trying to get the meeting Leaves on the last lap, but it's still Winterburn's frantically trying to push that machine on the middle of the track as a leader up the back straight. Once again then Colin Blackburn, Simon Elliott in the chair this afternoon. A long way clear of step fly in Jason Gill in the first heat of the big sidecar action. And it's impressive stuff from the Bournemouth Masters champion. Colin Blackburn, Simon Elliott, they the ride. Second place goes to step fly and Jason Gill. <laughs> Race 6 then won by number 25 Colin Blackbourne and Simon Elliott Second number 30 Step Bly and Jason Gill Race 6A is 3-6-2 That's John Thorpe and Ian Hawley 22 Craig Smith and Brett Hedge 2-2-8 Fred Skinner and Stephen Russell and 48, Rod Winterburn and Liam Brown.
passenger. You do know the not I dare not say where we go then with this next seat off the big chairs and it's Craig Smith making a good start Rob Winterburn goes on the shoulder of Craig Smith now as they go on that top corner for the first time and Smith on the inside Winterburn making a move around the outside these two lock together coming out of that top is in fourth place, they go to the back spread on lap number two, and it's Rob Winderburn and Liam Brown there, getting away from uh, Craig Smith and Brett Hedge, you've got that second place, Fred Skinner and Stephen Rost have got the third, John Thorpe and Ian Hawley are in fourth place, moving into that top corner once again, it's uh, in that second place, which is still Fred fourth place, up the back straight they go once again, Winterburn's getting away at the front, Craig Smith desperately trying to close the gap in that second place position, Fred Skinner hanging on to that third, John Thorpe is in fourth place, out of that top turn they come on. Well, Winterburn meets, Tom Craig Skinner, Fred Skinner's got the third, John Thorpe is in fourth place, number six A for the the back straight for the four more time and the second heat of the big chair action moving into that top corner and it is Rob Winterburn and Liam Brown they're going to win their race number six Liam Brown they pick up the winning ride second place goes to Craig Smith and Brett Hedge it's going to be Fred Skinner and Stephen Russell to pick up the third Liam Brown in yeah I know don't you just love it your result of race 6A is a win for number 48, Rod Winterburn and Liam Brown. Second, number 22, Craig Smith and Brett Edge. And third, 228, Fred Skinner and Stephen Russell. Fourth, number 362. Winning time, and of course these times are very important for the big chairs. One minute, 19.70. One minute, 19.70. Has anybody got any gas bottles? Uh, Gareth Winterburn needs to do some welding. If anybody's got any gas bottles, can they please take them to the Winterburn part of the pits, please, so they can get the machine back welded together as quickly as possible, please. Thank you very much. On the line then for race number seven, the open solo class, it's uh, Carl Dorr as the addition this one, and it's uh, one one over. Seven. And the back straight that familiar style of Steve Dawes, he leads in the back straight of disaster day yesterday with two edging fellas and he followed again one at the front, he leads going into that pits corner for the first time, the family of John Murray sponsor to this race, it's great, it's just Steve Dawes who leads in front, 2-1-6, that's uh, Dave Fletcher's second place, Arnie Fenner goes to the Joyce is in five, that's the top five as they race down the last straight once again. Steve Dorr looks behind him and Dave Fletcher's hunting down as they go in that pitch corner once again. Dorr had to completely rebuild the machine from the clash yesterday afternoon. He is the leader then, he completes lap number two ahead of Fletcher holding that second place. Fenner is going to do it. Joyce is in five, that's the top five as they go down the back straight once again and Dave Fletcher's really hunting after Steve Dorr now as they go to the back straight once again we've got a yellow flag out rider completely to the ropes on this side of the track do we have a red flag now we're racing under yellow flags at the moment they move into that corner again Steve Dorr and Dave Fletcher they're locked shoulder to shoulder now as they move it on the floor and Fletcher's gone round the edge of the floor Steve Dorr's got a puncture Steve Dorr has got a puncture in the back wheel there you can see that he's in the back wheel he's really wanting to be off the rim now he's off the rim as he goes into that top corner so the bad luck continues to haunt Steve Dorr as it did yesterday it's haunting him again today you can see the tyre is completely off the rim as he goes down that back straight so it's going to be they're coasting round under yellow flags just being called by the clerk of the course
Race number seven, the family of John Murray are the sponsors. The result will be after three laps. That's the decision of the clerk of the course. So the result is over three laps. A win for 216, Dave Fletcher. Second, 110, Steve Dorr. And third, 174, Ian Gutteridge. 32, 57, and number 20. And there will be, obviously, no time. You know, he was always safe and stylish. And, you know, I, I used to be a... Like, Mr. Mr. Nice Guy. He was, was one yeah, of, Always happens to the nice ones, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, he, he is Mr. Nice Guy. It's, uh, yeah. I can't believe that, you know, we did something different than that. Well, he rode last year at Roy House with the... Uh, so on the line then for race number eight, another heat of the upright solos. Again, the family of John Murray are the sponsors. Mike Scowling is in to replace 175 Lewis Davis, and there's no clip. Waterfield. Uh, they always give you plenty of room, wouldn't they? Well, yeah, really good, wouldn't it? Where we got in with the seat of the upright solos, race number eight, and it's uh, number ten making a good start. That's Tom Meek. He's going to be going on the inside, Ron Scowling. Off to that third place, Bob Dolman trying to find a way through on the inside. Is Tim Kernock Lee is going to the back straight on lap number one. It's Tom Meekins holding that second place. Scowling has got the third. It looks like Bob Dolman's got a few machine problems out there in that fourth place position as they come out of that pits corner coming to the complete the opening lap. Kernock is a leader, but Meekins holding that second. It's uh, Scowling who's got the third. Dolman is in fourth place. Hosting her in fourth place. In position number five, that's the five. And Tim Kernock really getting away at the front. Tom Meekins desperately trying to close the gap there in second place. They're a long way clear of the Mike Scarding who has got that third as they complete that particular lap. Kernock leads it. The Meekins is second. has got the third. Norman is in four. Hart is in five. Equally spread on the front. Leader down the back straight. Hart on lap number three. Increasing lead all the time over. Tom Meekins has got that second. Scalding in third with Dolman getting closer in fourth. Coming on to lap four this time then. The reigning British pre-75 champion is the leader of this season. For Beacons holding that second. Scalding is in third. Bob Dolman definitely getting close in fourth. It's where the main racing is for third and fourth places. Look at Bob Dolman on the entry to that top corner. Gets inside Mike Scalding to go through into third place. As the race leader Tim Kernock leads into the fifth corner. Time in race number eight, Tim Kurnock gets the winning ride. Second place is Tom Meekins. Bob Dorman's going to consolidate that third place, which he does. He picks up the third place. Fourth is Mike Scalding. Fourth place, fifth place, Carl Hard. Race eight result, win for number 726, Tim Kurnock. Second, number 10, Tom Meekins. And third, number 16, Bob Dorman. 143 and 911. 1 minute 32.10. 1 minute 32.10. A and D Verity sponsor race 9. Delete 267 and 175. Add in 91. Ashley Gardner. Race 9 then, first heat of the 500 solos. Away to a clean break, we're looking for Harlan Cook to make the start, which is exactly what he's done from the outside, Jody Hodge. That's the goal. Shoulder to Harlan Cook has stolen the march of Bundy Bond. He goes through on the inside and moves through into second place. He's lost that second place. That's the garden around the outside. And that's Scott Campus coming for no other thing to go through in the second place. He's picked off three riders to move through into that second place position. As Cook is the leader then from wide riding Campus on that second pass. He's got the third. Garden is four. Hudson is in five. Cooley is in six. Reed in seven. After seven, they go down the back straight once again. Harlan Cook has stolen the march to the front. Scott Campus hunting down in second place. Bartley having a good ride in third. Jody Hobson now up to fourth place. Ashley Garner dropped.
drops back to five. Craig Drury now looking for that fifth place. There's good news to put in that one. Camp is all in second. Barkley is up to third. Hudson is in four. Gardner in five. Drury in six. Lee in seven. That's great, once again, all in front, well cleared the front, Campus having a good ride there, in second place, it's still barking, hanging on to that third place position, as Cook leads on to lap four then, then Campus holding that second place position, it's still barking, he's got third, and Jody Hodgson in four, Gardner in five, Jury again getting closer in six, leads is in seven, and eventually that one leader going into that fifth corner, 40 final time, Interesting the sort of time that Harlan Cook clocks in the first heat of the 500 solos. Harlan Cook gets the winning ride. Second place is Scott Campers. Third place, Lee Barclay. They're punching up then for four, fifth and six. Jody Hodgson gets the four. Ashley Gardner, five. Craig Jury in six. They can lead in seventh place. Race nine then, a win for number seven, Harlan Cook. Second, number 178, Scott Campus. And third, number 65, Lee Barkley. 53, 91, 10, and number three. The winning time quickest so far, 1 minute 24.92. 1 minute 24.92. On we go then to race 10, JR Engines, Speedway Services are the sponsors. Second leg of the 250 solo super race in the first race with uh, Danny Ball coming from nowhere to uh, Pip uh, Adam Ship on the line there in a classic 250 speedway race. Proceed to the two fifties away they go. Adam Ship front wheel right up in front of his face. Terry Maskin making a stupid start. He got away with Danny Ball. Adam Ship in third. Nasty Hill in fourth place up the top. Ball they go down the back straight for the first time. It's Boyle who's stolen the march of front. Ship has now gone through into second place. Massingham has got the third. Hill is in fourth place. Jury making a big line through to go through the fifth place. Now looking at that fourth place of Ashley Hill as Danny Ball is the lead. He's taking a wide line. Adam Ship taking a much tighter line. These two producing cracking race again. Massingham grimly hanging on to that third place to Craig Jewelry, making the move round the outside of that to Pitts Corner as Danny Ball still leads and Adam Ship can't close the gap at the moment. Craig Jewelry alongside Terry Massingham in a super race to 34 places. Ashley Hill in five, good ride by Amy Taylor in six, Campus is in seven, that's the top seven. As they race to the back straight once again, still Ball has his manager over. Ship in second place and Danny Ball is getting away from Adam Ship in that race to first and second. On the last lap they go then, it's Paul the lead. The ship holding second, Jury coming on the inside of Massingham to go to the third place. Massingham now relegated to four. Hill in five, Amy Taylor in six, Campus in seven. That's still the top seven. And Johnny Ball gets the one back markers now going into that fifth corner. Four be four times in the second heat of the 250 solo. Johnny Ball using every inch of track at the front. Danny Ball makes it two to two in the heats of the 250. Adam Ship gets the second place. Craig Jury comes across the line in third. Terry Massingham is in four, Ashley Hill in five, Amy Taylor in six, Del Campus in seven, Michael Randall in eight, and finally number 50, Brendan Warville. Race 10 result, win for number 95, Danny Boyle. Second, number 16, Adam Ship. And third, he's riding number 11 there because Craig Drury blew his machine up in the first heat. He's out on a different bike. He is riding number 11. We all know that it is a yellow plate. It has been verified as a 250 machine. So number 11, Craig Drury is third. And 213, 74. 28, 98, 78, 50, 17, and 77.
1 minute 29.74 1 minute 29.74 the family of Bill Barley sponsor race 11 delete number 10 a busy afternoon of course because he's on the 500 sidecar there with uh, Richard Hollingdale so uh, Kim is the last rider to come out then for this second heat of the uh, uprights Chris Mackett right on the outside impressive winner of this we've got John Underwood next to him in Pius finished second then uh, Chris uh, Smith and just checking the machine of Kim Gray Tricks has started checking his machine there before getting ready for race number 11 Barry Liner next to him and of course Dave Lambert is next to him. That's the six riders for race 11. Uh, looks as Kim Gray Tix has got problems and can't come out then for this second heat up for the takes. We're left for five riders then. And it's John Underwood making a good start. Dave Lambert's got with him. Chris Mackey makes a move around the outside. Chris Mackey has made it stick again. Barry Liner goes through on the inside of John Underwood to go through the second place. Underwood again back round the outside, retakes that second place. As Mackey leads with Underwood in second, Liner is in third, Lambert in fourth, Smith in five. That's the five in this second heat of the upright solos. Chris Mackey in total control at the front. John Underwood again having a good ride in second. Liner has gone from third. Smith has gone wide in chance for Lambert. Fourth place position. Mackett's getting away, still Underwood holding second, it's Reiner in third, Smith in four, Lambert in five, that's the time as they roar in that pits corner once again, John Underwood definitely getting a bit close to Chris Mackett, and Chris Mackett taking a tight line, John Underwood takes an even tighter line on the exit for that pits corner, Reiner's got the third, looks behind the seat, Smith in four, Lambert in five, and looking at the top of the front, Mackett's not getting away from Underwood in that race, the first and second, haven't said that he's very quick again, Going down that back straight, Mackett leads it, Underwood in second, Liner is in third, Smith in four, Lambert in five. Last lap flag being made ready there for Chris Mackett, looking to make it two to two in the heats of the 375 solo. Mackett leads it, Underwood second, Liner's got that third, Smith in four, Lambert in five. And the back straight on the lap of the forward, Chris Mackett away again from John Underwood as they go to the back straight for the final time of the length of straight, clear the third place man, Barry Liner. So it's going to be two out of two for Chris Mackett. He gets the winning ride. Second place is John Underwood. Harry Liner picks up the uh, third place. It's going to be tied for fourth and fifth. Chris Smith gets fourth. And they have the fifth place. Race 11 result. Win for number 68, Chris Mackett. Second number 77, John Underwood. And third, 246, Barry Liner. 73 and 127. 1 minute 34.40. 1 minute 34.40. Right, race 12 then. Race 12, 500 sidecars. Delete 22 and 55. Put in 971, Dean Norton and Joe Richmond. And 46, Richard Hollandale and Kim Greatrix. They will join 44, Gary Southgate and 118, Scott Dunn. This race sponsored by Speedway Services. Well, Scott Dunn, impressive winner first time out. Dean Norton picked up a second place in his first outing. Just waiting for one of the crews to come out. <laughs> Looks like Richard Hollingdale and Kim Greatrix the crew are waiting for. Of course, Kim has just had machine problems in uh, his solo race. He's going to come straight back out now for this race of the 500 sidecars. Just coming on to track now then, crew number 46 to give us the four crews for race number 12. Four crews ready then for race.
race number 12, the start of the second leg of the 500 sidecars. Starter walks away, Tate's fly up, they all get away together, Scotland again particularly quick from the inside, and it's Dean Norton and uh, Joe Richard making a quick start from the end. Scott Dunn has got through on the inside, Dean Norton holds that second, Gary Southgate's gone through into third, Richard Hollingsdale is in fourth place, that's the four to go in the back straight on the only lap then, Scott Dunn leads for North in second, it's uh, Southgate in third, Hollingdale is in fourth place, coming to complete the opening lap, it's impressive stuff again from Scott Dunn and Paul Smith there. Uh, Hollingdale is in fourth place. That's a four they go in the back straight once again in stock. Scott Dunn is getting away at the front there. There's a good race developing for second and third because Gary Southgate after that third place. Second place of Dean Norton. They roll into that pitch corner once again. It's Scott Dunn and Paul Smith. Well clear then for Dean Norton. Holding that second place. They seem to be slowing up. They've got the sheet. Gary Southgate goes around the outside of Dean Norton. Just going against them. Southgate is going to move through. Into second place. Dean Norton in hot pursuit in third. Richard Hollingdale back in fourth place as leader Scott and Paul Smith well clear going into that pitch corner on lap number three on to four they go looking to make it two to two in the heat of the small chairs then Southgate's got that second but Dean Norton's definitely hunting going to that second place position at that top corner once again Richard Hollingdale has got the fourth place Scott and Paul Smith in fourth place Richard Hollingdale in fourth place Scott and Paul Smith in fourth place Scott and Paul Smith in fourth place they go 40 points on the main action for second and third place here's a Scott Dunn impressive again at the front Gary Southgate hanging on to that second place Dean Norton making a big move on that pitch it's corner, Scott Dunn gets the one in ride. Second place goes to Gary Southgate. Third place, Dean Norton. Fourth place, Richard Hollingdale. Race 12 result to win for number 118, Scott Dunn and Paul Smith. Second number 44, Gary Southgate and Sonia N. And third, number 971, Dean Norton and Joe Richmond. Fourth, number 46. One minute 33, exactly. One minute 33, exactly. Race 13, again sponsored by Speedway Services. Number 13, Simon Beard and Emily Coglin. Number 55, Dave Carvel and Carl Webb. 16, Andy and Laura Carrison, and 30, Anthony and Scott Goodwin are the four crews for race 13. Any uh, passenger that's here or a thousand sidecar passenger that fancies a go on the back of Andy Carrison, he is desperate for a passenger for the third and fourth set of heats, please. So, uh, for the third heat and the final if he can get through. So they've come a long way to race today, but uh, Andy does need a passenger for the next set of heats for the 500 sidecars. Please see number 16 in the pit. So three crews and for race number 13. Solomon being an impressive winner first to Eddie. Hasn't made the best of starts again. It's Anthony Goodwin make in a cracking start. Solomon being going in that top corner. Anthony Goodwin in the chair there. It's uh, Anthony Goodwin has got the second. Dave Carvel is in third place. But Solomon being again has stolen the march at the front. His first meeting back since that horrific injury at High East a few months ago. But looking very impressive at the front again in this start. In this second heat of the 500 side cards. It's Simon Beard who leads it. But Anthony Goodwin is Gets inside Anthony Goodwin, Goodwin again back round the outside, Ken Carvel again, come back up that inside run, as Simon Beard's away like a scolding cat at the front, he's well clear but a good race, going on for second and third again, Dave Carvel right round the outside of that pitch corner, Anthony Goodwin holds the inside line, pushes Carvel wide, he can't quite get round, yes he has, he sweeps out there to go through the second place. Super ride there by Dave Carvel and Carl Webb to go through into second place. As Simon Beard's a mile away at the front. It's Carvel now got that second. Goodwin has got the third as a leader. Into the pitch corner on lap number three. Like Scott Dunn looking to make it two to two in the heats of the uh, 500 side. Carvel holds that second place. Anthony Goodwin is in third. Super race for the third. Simon Beard and Anthony Coughlin, well clear, going down the back straight, 40 final time, 
race number 13 is Dave Carvel hanging on to that second place. Anthony Goodwin has got the third place coming out of that pits corner for the final time. Impressive stuff again for Simon Beard and Emily Coglin. Second, Dave Carvel and Carl Webb. Third place, Anthony and Scott Goodwin. Race 13 result, win for number 4, Simon Beard and Emily Coglin. Second number 55, Dave Carble and Carl Webb. And third number 30, Anthony and Scott Goodwin. 1 minute 33.09. 1 minute 33.09. Race 14, delete number 144 and number 61. Put in number 20, Jordan Meekins. Again, sponsored by Speedway Services. And delete number 82, Glenn Waterfield as well. On the line and running then for this next heat of B350, of course, Richard Smith's edition, late edition of the program as well. <laughs> On the inside, these three are actually getting the second heat of the 350s. The Smith has stolen them out to put Reed. He's a good ride this time, having had a point this far this first outing. Dolman has got the third place. That's the top three coming out of that pits corner. And it's a reigning champion, Leeds Emperor. And wide running, Richard Reed has got that second. Dolman's got the third brother. He's in fourth place. Richard Smith, Wellington's drawn the front, Reed holding that second, Dolman now getting closer to Richard Reed, a good race developing for second and third place, they go into the pits corner once again, and Richard Smith is the leader then, from Reed holding second, Dolman is in fourth place, you watch Dolman round here, so Richard goes into that top corner once again, Smith here the front of Dolman, hunting down Reed for that second place, about three bikes between them, they go into the pits corner once again, Richard Reed on the inside, Bob Dolman goes wide, cuts it back to the Inside run, Richard Smith, Wally control the front, he leads on the fourth and Reed. Second Dolman, two lines behind him, there's a go into that top corner once again. Reed holding the inside line, Dolman again, making a move around the outside. Two by quickly and going to the back straight, four deep from on time. Smith laps the back marker on his way into that pitch corner on lap number four. Dolman's making a big move around the outside. That marker comes in and plays, they come out of that pitch corner. Smith gets on in right, tight for second, it's just Richard Reed and Bob Dolman in third. Daniel Glover in fourth and Michael Fertle in fifth place. A Speedway Services sponsored race 14 won by number 33 Richard Smith. Second number 56 Richard Reed and third number 16 Bob Dolman. 18 and number 9. 1 minute 27.16 1 minute 27.16 Duck aside cars and Godfrey Silk sponsor race 14 race or race 15 and in race 15 number 25 49 48 and number 30 that is race 15 25 Colin Blackburn 49 is Gareth Winterburn, 48, Rod Winterburn, and 30 is Steph Bly. That is race 15, the revised lineup. That born impressive winner first time out. Gareth Winterburn's got the machinery sorted out. He's in action. Rod Winterburn also winner first time out and Steph Bly. So should be for an intriguing race number 15. If you look across that far side of the track for the 1,000cc sidecars. Racing now with immediate effect is three laps. So Colin Blackburn on the inside, then Gareth Winterburn next to him, then Steph Fly, then Rod Winterburn right on the outside. The two quickest crews in action in this race number 15. Starter walks away, takes foot, Colin Blackburn making this stupid superstar, but it looks like Rod Winterburn's gone with it, and Gareth Winterburn also in the action. Steph Fly left the line there, the Winterburn cruise, locker 1 2 going into that top corner for the first time and coming out of that top corner. Colin Blackburn trying to find a way to on the inside. Second, Colin Blackburn is in third place. Steph flies in fourth. So they go in that pitch corner once again. And Colin Blackburn has made a way through on the inside. Rod Winterburn leads going up the back straight once again. We seem to have lost Rod, Rod Winterburn. He's way back in third place and struggling in third place as Gareth Winterburn leads into that top corner in the start of the second leg of the 1,000cc sidecar. Winterburn leads in third. It's uh, 
Gareth Windeburn with machine problems, that's there in fourth place. They go on the match plate once again. Gareth Windeburn is the race leader then. From Colin Blackburn holding that second place. Steph Fly is in third, and this time it's Rod Windeburn's turn to pull on to the middle of the track as they race out of that turn. Top corner once again to come and they complete it. Not Windeburn is at the front. Apologies for mixing the 48 and 49 of theirs. Second flag has gone by for Rob Winterburn to get the winning ride. Second place is Colin Blackburn. Third place it's Steph Fly. And problems again there for Gareth Winterburn in the second heat of the big chairs. Obviously the welding job not lasting there in that race 15. Race 15 result to win for number 48, Rod Winterburn, Liam Brown. Second, number 25, Colin Blackburn and Simon Elliott. And third, number 30, Steph Bly and Jason Gill. The winning time for three laps, 59.52. 59.32. Well, we go on to race 15A then, which is 22, 228 and 362. So that's Craig Smith and Brett Edge, Fred Skinner, Stephen Russell, John Thorpe and Ian Hawley are the three crews in for race 15A. Just waiting for uh, John Thorpe to settle in for this race 15A. Fred Skinner on the outside, John Thorpe next to him, Craig Smith on the inside, that's the three crews. Starter walks away, takes by up, and Fred's going to make a good start. Craig Smith makes an even better one, though. He's leader going up the back straight the first time, Fred Smith. Fred Skinner has got that second place, John Thorpe has got the third, that's a three going into that top corner for the first time. It's Craig Smith and Fred Edge, they start in wide, Fred Smith is going to be inside, John Thorpe in order there, back in third place. At that pits corner once again, Craig Smith again taking the wide line, Fred Skinner taking a much tighter line. Can he hunt down Craig Smith now as they go up the back straight once again? It's Smith who's got the lead down, Ben Skinner in second, Thorpe is in third. They move into that top corner, equally spread these three crews now, and the last lap back, we may run And Stephen Russell in second, John Thorpe got the third place. They go up the back straight for the final time in race number 15A. Craig Smith, a quick look behind him, big lead over Fred Skinner, who's got that second place wrapped up, and John Thorpe and Ian Hawley in third. Coming out of that uh, top bend, then it's a win there for Craig Smith and Fred and third place, John Thorpe in the end. Your result to race 15A, a win for number 22, Craig Smith and Brett Edge. Second, number 228, Fred Skinner and Stephen Russell. And third, number 362, John Thorpe in the end. Hawley. One minute, 3.28. One minute, 3. Point two eight. We go on to race 16 then, the family of John Murray sponsor this one. One or two uh, non-starters in this one. Delete 82, 175, 61 and number 17. Oh, uh, on the line then for race number 16, the family of John Murray are the sponsors. The event the rod has come into line then for this uh, heat of the upright solos. Yeah. Away we go, a clean break. Everybody makes a start. And that's it, Bob Dunn has made his superstar. He's leader coming by us the first time then. second, Fenner has got the third, Meekins is in fourth place, going in to Pitt's corner on the opening lap in this uh, race number 16, Bob Dolman, while in control, the front good race, going on the second, and third by Scalding, and Arnie Fenner there, Jordan, 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 Jordan,
seconds. Golding has got the third. Place, that's the top four. He's bobbed on down the back straight on lap number three then. It's seven one one in fifth place. Seven one one has just joined the race, so uh Stopping in eighth for that fifth place position as Bob Dolman's clear coming out of that final corner. Bob Dolman gets the winning ride. Second place is Arnie Fenner. Third place is uh, Mike Scalding. Nine one one Carl Hard gets that run for Meekins in six and one 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 in the seventh place. Race 16 result win for number 16, Bob Dolman. Second number 32, Arnie Fenner. And third number 143, Mike Scalding. 9-1-1, 20, and 1-1-1. Race 17, another heat of the upright solos. 1 minute 14.06, 1 minute 14.06, the winning time. Coming out then for race number 17, another heat of the upright solos. still raised on the starting area before the riders come into line for race number 17. number 17 up for the tape so where they go Tom make it making a good start they easily then but uh, 216 Dave Fletcher also quickly race in Kuronok in second, Dawes in third, Meekins is in fourth place. Excellent action this race, number seven, Steve Dawes got machine problems yet again. Every race coming up is a Steve Dawes. He's been just in the end again today. He's got to be there, but Kuronok in second, Meekins now goes through into third place. They race on the back straight once again. It's Dave Fletcher clear of Kuronok holding that second. Kuronok runs in Dave Fletcher down now as they go into that turf pits corner once again Fletch on the inside Tim Kurnock goes wide cuts it back for the inside run on the last lap they go there Fletch and Kurnock in second Meekins is in third place Harry Joyce is in fourth number 90 makes a move round the outside and Dave Miles has now gone through into fifth place as we see Dave Fletcher down the back straight for the final time in race number 17 the second heat of the uh, upright solos and Dave Fletcher gets the winning ride second place goes to Tim Kurnock Tom Meekins Comes across the line in third. It's tight the fourth. It's been Barry Joyce and Aiden Wells. Barry Joyce comes from the inside to get four. Aiden Wells in fifth place. Race 17. It's a win for 216. Dave Fletcher. Second number 726. Tim Kernock. And third number 10. Tom Meekins. 57 and 19. 1 minute 10.85, 1 minute 10.85. So on the line then for race number 18, the second leg of the 500 solos. Yeah, it's all going down that way then. Yeah. Yeah. You've got tons of water, can't you? I know a week last Friday at home, I mean, absolutely swilled all bloody day. I mean, by the middle of the week. Still waiting for riders to join the uh, race for race 18. Yeah. Oh, that is, you know, Fenton bloody rides quicker than ever, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 Farmer is a little bit happier on the line then for the second heat of the 500 solos up and running Harlan Cook making a good start Jody Holtz has gone quickly with him so Scott Camp has made a good start Cook leads his camp in second Harlan 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 Cook leads
five, that's the top five hole and Cook sweeps round the outside of that top corner as a lead from Scott Campus holding that second place in. Jody Hodgson gone to the third, Barkley is in four, Gardner in five, Drury in six, that's the top six as Holland Cook clear coming out of that pit corner completing that lap then but Campus trying to close the gap in second, Hodgson got the third but Barkley trying to find a way through him, Hodgson gets inside, Hodgson to move through, he into third place, can Hodgson get back round the outside of that top one, no he can't, Barkley hangs on to that third place as Cook leads from Campus in second, Barkley in third, it's Hudson in four, Gardner in five, Drury is in six, last that flag beam out of then, four, Harley in four, Scott Hudson in second, Barkley is up the third, Hudson is in four, Gardner in five, Drury in six, Leeds in seven, that's the seven, you see Harley Brooks, half of them are back straight on the final lap of this race, number 18, still Campus holds that second place mission, so two to two for Harley Brooks in the heat of the 500, Scott Campus picks up a second, second place. Third place should be uh, Lee Barclay. Yeah. Fourth is Jody Hodson. Five, Ashley Gardner. Six, Ray Jury. Seventh place, Benjamin Leeds. So, race 18, a win for number seven, Harlan Cook. Second, number 178, Scott Campus. And third, number 65, Lee Barclay. 53. 91. 10 and number 3 1 minute 1.12 1 minute 1.12 on we go into race 19 the start of the third leg starting with the 250 solos so here we come then for race 19 the start of the third leg 250 solos and two cracking wins so far to uh, Danny Boyle and Adam Shipper in the challenging blow in the start of this uh, third leg. Yeah. Yeah. My brother in law does that, yeah. 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 Yeah, my, my brother in law does that. See Danny Boyle going back for a few last minute adjustments before coming into line for this third leg of the 250s. Third leg, 250 solos, takes club immediately, the way they go, and who's going to make the start? We're looking for Adam Shipp, he has made a good start, Danny Ball has made a best of start, Danny Ball has made a good start, Going down the back straight once again, Ship leads it then for Massingham holding that second. Craig Drury making a big move to go through into third place. Can't see Danny Ball out there at the moment. He's won the opening two, but Ship leads it for Massingham. Drury in third. Here we go. Taylor in seven. Barbara in eight. That's the top eight. They go to the back straight once again. It's still Alan Ship a long, long way from here at the front then. Terry Massingham now coming under pressure with Craig Drury in that race for second and third. Craig Drury round the outside. Can Terry Massingham get back through on the inside line? His ship is a long way clear at the front then. Oh, he's got that second place. Massingham hangs on to third. Ashley Hill in four. Campus in five. Warbler in six. Amy Taylor in seven. Lee Barclay in eight. Ashley Gardner in nine. Campus in nine. And leave it down the back straight. Forty. Come on, Tommy. Wonder what's happening there to Johnny Ball. I'm still in leaving the start line just before prior to the race starting but Adam Shipp it is who takes the checkered flag this time second place goes to Craig Drury third place is Terry Massingham fourth is Ashley Hill five Dale Campus six Amy Taylor seven Brendan Warble eight Frank Yates nine Lawrence Barber Race 19, won by number 16, Adam Ship. Second, number 11, is Craig Drury. Should be 101, but he's riding number 11 for the remainder of the meeting. And third, 213, Terry Massingham. 74, 78, 28, 50, 10, 17 and 77 that race sponsored by uh, JR Engines Speedway Services the winning time 1 minute 10.17
10.07. One minute, 10.07. News on Danny Ball. He left the line with a very sick sounding motor and went back into the pits. I thought I saw him on the line there for that race, but we saw him go back into the pits and that is the reason why. Race 20, 375 solos. The family of Bill Barley are the sponsors of race number 20. Delete number 10, Frank Yates. Where we go then with the seat of the pre 75s, and we look very long has made a good start, but Chris Mackett again is the first one. Second place, Byron in third. Chris Smith is up to fourth place. They go to the back foot on the opening lap. Back in again. Already cleared the front. Underwood holding second. Liner has got the third. Smith is in four. Lambert in five. Raytrix in six. We've got the six runners this time in race number 20. In and out of that pits corner and completing the open end. Mackett, the clear leader. For Underwood in second. Liner has got the third. Wide running Smith is in four. Lambert in five. Raytrix in six. We're just between the six of them, they go to the back straight once again. Back it well in control as he was yesterday afternoon. He's doing the same again this afternoon, Underwood. Again looking for a second place in this uh, pre-75 class. Chris Mackett leads on to the last lap then. But John Underwood holding second. Larry Liner in third. Four, Dave Lambert in five. In Ray Fritz, he's in six. That's a six. They go to the back straight and four more times. So three and a three coming up to Chris Mackett. He's in 375 pass, John Underwood once again is going to pick up this second place position, so Chris Mackin impresses stuff again, he's the clear winner from John Underwood holding second, Harry Liner is in third, Chris Smith is in fourth, Dave Lambert in five, in racing in sixth place. Race 20 result to win for number 68, Chris Mackett. Second number 77, John Underwood. And third, 246, Barry Liner. 73, 127 and 337. One minute 11.22. One minute 11.22. Race 21, 500 sidecars, delete number 22, Sinead McLaren, add in number 46, Richard Hollindale, with Kim Greatrix in the chair. The other three crews remain the same, and we're hoping that Andy Carrison has picked up a passenger for this race number 21. Just had Danny Ball to the box, he's blown his engine, so that is a great shame after two fantastic open rides in the 250, Danny could take no further part of the meeting, he's just been the box to tell us, so that's bad news indeed for young Danny Ball. Whether we've got the passenger for Andy Carras, I can only see three crews on the line for this race 21, another heat of the 500 sidecar, so nobody's come forward to passenger Andy Carrison, which is a great shame, it limits us to three crews, this one unbeaten, Scott Dunn is out in this one, with uh, Richard Hollindale and Anthony and Scott Goodwin. Away they go, these three crews. Scott done again very quick away from the outside. Richard Hollindale has made a decent start as well, but it's Anthony Goodwin. In second place, it's Scott and Lee. Anthony Goodwin is in second. Richard Hollindale is in third. That's the three crews going to the back straight then. So looking to make it three to three. There is uh, Scott Dunn and Paul Smith in this heat of the five minute sidecars. Anthony and Scott Goodwin hold on to that second place. It's uh, Richard Hollindale, Kim Greatrix. They have got the third place position. Completing the opener, Scott Dunn. Well, looking on that second. Richard Hollindale. Looking that second place. Of Anthony Goodwin just a bite between these two as they go into that top corner once again. Goodwin's wide again. Can Hollindale get through on the inside? He's still a bite behind the main action for second and third is Scott Dunn's well cleared the front but still a good race for second and third place a wide ride by Scott Dunn on the outs coming out of that pits corner he's still on the last side could be now again coming under pressure from Richard Hollindale just a for second and third, Goodwin rides a mid-track, will Hollindale go outside, will he try the inside run? He's still just a point behind now as he goes in the back straight for the final time. As Scott Dunn and Paul Smith pick up their impressive third winning ride of the afternoon. Anthony Goodwin's gone up to get, take this second place position. Scott Dunn gets the winning ride, Anthony Goodwin picks up second, Richard Hollindale in third place. Race 21 is a win for number 118, Scott Dunn and Paul Smith. 
Second number 30, Anthony and Scott Goodwin. And third number 46, Richard Hollindale and Kim Greatrix. 1 minute 11.09. 1 minute 11.09. For race 22, Emily Coughlin is a passenger from Beaton, Simon Beard, adding 971, Dean Norton and Joe Richmond. So four crews coming out then for race 22, Simon Beard and Emily Coughlin on Beaton and opening ones. They want to stay on Beaton to keep up with the Scott Dunn who just won the last race very impressively. Dean Norton has been there or thereabouts, as of Gary Southgate and Dave Carvel. Intriguing race 22 at the gate. So four crews ready then for race number 22. A clean break, they're all in there. Dean Norton front wheel right up in front of his face there, but he's still quickly away, but Simon B is over there on the score. to go through in the second place it's uh, Gary Southgate tucked in the third but Dean Norton making the move around the outside to try and get that third place then Gary Southgate Gary Southgate hanging on to that third place position as Simon Beard already cleared the front there but Dave Carble holding that second Gary Southgate holding the inside line forcing Dean Norton right round the outside <laughs> Gary Southgate in third, Dean Norton is in fourth place, Jackson again for third and fourth place, but Gary Southgate starting to get away from Dean Norton, and action for third and fourth position, coming out of that pit score and start the last lap this time, then Simon Beard well cleared the front, of the second place. Crew number four, the unbeaten crew of Simon Beard and Emily Conkin. Now well cleared of Dave Carvel and Carl Webb in second. Gary Southgate got the third. Dean Norton is in fourth place, so impresses up again for Simon Beard. He makes it three to three in the heats of the 500 sidecar. Dave Carvel gets that second place. Gary Southgate in third. Dean Norton in fourth place. Race 22, win for number 4, Simon Beard and Emily Coglin. Second number 55, Dave Carble and Carl Webb. And third number 44, Gary Southgate and Sonia End. Fourth number 971. 1 minute 10.31. 1 minute 10.31. We move on then to race number 23, the 350 solos, adding number 33, Richard Smith, and delete 61, 82, and 144, and 213 as well. after race number 27 will be the interval in today's meeting as they line up then for race number 23 third leg of the 350 solos away we go then an equal start there Bob Dorm has made a good start Richard Smith is not pursued in second place Richard Reed does it Richard Smith chasing after Richard Reed not too far behind in third of a classic now of Dolman making the start Richard Smith about two bikes behind him now as they go into the pits corner on the opening up Dolman round the outside Smith right in the inside run they're going to come out of that pits corner virtually together but Bob Dolman again going into that top corner Smith again makes a move through on the inside Reed has got that third run for it for third and five down the back but they go half a bike between third and second as Dolman has the advantage over Smith in second what was Smith for this time Dolman takes exactly the same line Richard Smith has gone wide he's cutting back for the inside with Dolman, still has the advantage then. and Richard Smith has gone really wide and Richard Smith has gone through the second place has he got problems? Richard Reed now goes through the second Richard Smith trying to get back round the outside he's got problems there back in third place as Bob Dolman leads going into that pits corner on the last up Reed's gone through the second Richard Smith with the sick machine back there in third place Bob Dolman gets the winning ride this time second place goes to Richard Reed. third is Richard Smith Fourth, Daniel Glover, fifth place, Michael Third, or so drama in the third leg of the 350 solos. Race 23 result to win for number 16, Bob Dolman. 
second number 56 Richard Reed and third number 33 Richard Smith 18 and number 9 1 minute 7.13 1 minute 7.13 race 24 uh, Ducker Sidecars and Godfrey Silk sponsor this one. Race 24, number 22, Craig Smith and Brett Edge. Number 49, Gareth Winterburn and Nathan Winterburn. Number 25, Colin Blackburn and Simon Elliott. And number 362, John Thorpe and Ian Hawley. That's the cruise for race number 24. If somebody can come to Godfrey Silk here at the PA van, he will go and fill the bows up to water the track at the interval with the crop spray. We're waiting for the seat of the big sidecars, and it's Craig Smith and Colin Blackburn shoulder to shoulder going at the back straight for the first time. No, Gareth Winterburn has come out this time. Obviously, the machine gremlins have got to Gareth Winterburn. Colin Blackburn on the outside. Craig Smith trying to find a way to the they have been running at the place all that second place. It's John Thorpe in third place going down the back straight once again. Colin Blackburn clear them and Craig Smith not too far behind them in second place. They roll that back straight once again. Obviously, time is of the issue because there is another 25 quid for the fastest sidecar time here clocked here today. Coming out of that top corner once again, Colin Blackburn. John Thorpe has got the third into the pitch court. They go with this Stones coming to the window there is Colin Blackburn, Simon Elliott, clear going up that back straight. Then Craig's within Brett Edge, they've got the second place. John Thorpe is in third place. They move into that top corner 40 for more time with the start of the third leg of the 1000 cc sidecar. They get the winning ride. Craig Smith, Brett Edge, they get the second. John Thorpe being Hawley finish in third place. Race 24 result to win for number 25, Colin Blackbourne and Simon Elliott. Second number 22, Craig Smith and Brett Edge. And third number 362, John Thorpe and Ian Hawley. The winning time, the quickest for the big chair so far, 58.72. 58.72. And that is the quickest time for the big chairs so far. Race 24A, number 228, Fred Skinner. Number 30, Steph Bly. And number 48, Rob Winterburn. Over on that far side of the track and away with his bees, the big chair, Fred Skinner making a good start, but Rob winterburn has gone through on the inside and Steph Fly is falling through to go through into second place. Rob Winterburn leads in that top corner, Steph Fly has got the second, Fred Skinner is in third place, motoring off that top corner. Fred Skinner is in third place. Into that pits corner, moving up the back straight, they go. Ron Winderburn and Liam Brown clear the front, and Steph Bly and Jason Gill hold that second. Fred Skinner and Stephen Russell are in third place. They power into that top corner once again. Takes a wide line, ready. Turn to the power on the exit from that top end. Ron Winderburn clear them, and Steph Bly holding second. Fred Position. We're lots of leader going up the back straight for the final time. Rod Winderburn and Liam Brown there clear of Steph Fly and Jason Gill in second place. Fred Skinner and Stephen Russell, they've got the third place position. Tight again coming off that to top corner. Liam Brown, they again get the winning ride. Second place to Steph Fly and Jason Gill and third place Fred Skinner. Race 24A, the win for number 48, Rod Winterburn and Liam Brown. Second number 30, Steph Bly and Jason Gill. And third, 228, Fred Skinner and Stephen Russell. The winning time, 58.78. 58.78. So just 0.6 slower than Colin Blackbourne in the previous race. And remember there is an extra 25 quid for the fastest sidecar race today. So Colin Blackbourne is the quickest at the moment with 58.72.
Tage fires in for race number 25, and it's Steve Dorn making a good start. Dave Fletcher goes with him, Tim Cronut. Tim Kurnock is in third place up the top three on in favour of this ball. They go down the back straight for the first time. Steve Dorn the front again. How many times have we said this this afternoon? But the uh, problem seemed to be beset Steve, but he still leads this one now, completing that lap. And Fletcher holding second. Kurnock has got the third. almost dropped it on the exit from that top corner it's very well indeed to stop on that slow Tim Cronock close what opening there in second place as Dor leads coming out of that pits corner and on to start the last lap Dor with his front wheel right up in front of his face leads on the last lap Tim Cronock almost comes alongside Dave Fletcher in that race for second and then Cronock goes through on the inside Fletcher again will sweep back round the outside to retake second place Cronock comes again to retake and Dave Fletcher falls in exactly the same place he had problems on the uh, earlier lap but it's Steve Steve Dorr going to pick up his first race win on the afternoon. Steve Dorr gets the winning ride. Second place is uh, Tim Kurnoff. Third place is going to be Arnie Senna. Fourth will be Jordan Meekins and Dave Fletcher. Looks to be okay on that far side. He almost dropped on the previous lap in exactly the same place, but dropped it on that last lap. Race 25 result to win for 110 Steve Dorr. Second number 726 Tim Kernock and third number 32 Arnie Fenner. Fourth number 20. 1 minute 08.16. 1 minute 8.16. And we go then to race 26 to beat 175 and number 82. So coming out then for race number 26, another heat of the uh, our price, kindly sponsored by the family of John Murray. Starla walks way up from the tape centre of the seat of the upright solo. Barry Joyce making a good stop as Tom Neekins who has the advantage of Nixon. Neekins making a move round the outside there. They go in that top corner once again. It's Neekins on the inside. Good big sweep around the outside of that top turn. These two have got away from Mike Scalding holding that first place position. As Meekins leads them, but good in second. Scalding is in third. That's the top three. Barry Joyce back in fifth place. Coming out of that pits corner, completely opening up. Then Meekins leads. Then Goodrich holding second. Scalding is on the third. Rolls in four. Joyce in five. Nine one one in sixth place. Not hard in that sixth place. We see Meekins now start to get away the front. Then Goodrich holds that second. Golding is in third. So the good race for fourth and fifth between Wells and Joyce. They're battling it out for fourth and fifth places. Last up flag being made ready then for Tom Neek. Meekins takes a long line. He's got good bridge hold that second. Golding is in third. Joyce up to four. Wells up back to five. He's in sixth. And Gubbs again coming under pressure that second place to Mike Scarlett, but again Gubbs sweeps back round the outside of that top turn to retake that second place position, but Tom Meekins looking pretty impressive in race number 26, Tom Meekins gets the winning ride this time, second place goes to Ian Gubbs, third place is Mike Scarlett, fourth Barry George, five eight well, sixth place is Carl Hart. Race 26 result, to win for number 10, Tom Meekins. Second number 174, Ian Gutteridge. And third number 143, Mike Scalding. 57, 19 <coughs> and 911. 1 minute 12.06, 1 minute 12.06. Race 27, delete to uh, Lewis Davis, put in number 91, Ashley Gardner. On the line then for the third leg of the 500 solo, it's the last race before the interval, Holland Cook again, making a good start from the outside, the scomp cut, passes on his shoulder, no cut, but... They're together on the entry to that top corner, but Cook puts 
Ranging around the outside, Campus has come out second place. Oxford now gone through in the third. Guard was in four. Barford is in five. Drury in six. Leeds in seven. That's a seven. As we see Harlan Cook win of the opening two each. The 500 is in control. This 30 of the 500 is with Campus on the on the inside, Lee Barker's trying to get around these two riders, they go in that top corner once again. It's Hudson just hanging on to that third place, and Garber in four, Barker in five, as Cook is leader into that pits corner. Van Campus all in second place, you can actually guard there, having to go for that third place of Jody Hudson. Time. They could move to the in second. Hodgson is in third. Gardner in four. Barton in five. Jules in six. Leeds in seven. That's the seven. This should have been a Harlan Cook half down that back straight on the final lap. The campus holding that second place position again. Gardner having a real good go. This is where the action is. Gardner gets inside Hodgson. And look at Lee Barton going into that pitch corner. Super race for third place. A three and rest coming out of that pitch corner. And Barton's come for no to snatch that third place. But Gardner comes again and Barton comes again. Super race between those two for a fight in third place. Result of race number 27, who win for number 7, Harlan Cook. Second, number 178, Scott Campus. And third, number 91, just on the line, Ashley Gardner. 65, 53, 10, and number 3. 1 minute 3.94. 1 minute 3.94. That brings us up into the interval in today's meeting. Don't forget the ice cream man is here, the burger bar is here, and the bar is open just behind the PA box. Their racing for the afternoon, four point scoring rides there for the uh, 250 solo, so you show your appreciation please, thank you. Race 28 result, the win for number 16, Adam Shipp. Second number 213, Terry Massingham. And third number 74, Ashley Hill. 11, 78. 28, 50, 17, and 77. 1 minute 10.31. 1 minute 10.31. Race 29, pre 75 solo, sponsored by the family of Bill Barley. This is the final lead for the pre 75s. So on the line then for race number 29, finally of the pre-75 solos there, fourth leg away we go and Chris Mack and Megan a good start, John Underwood's alongside him as they go into that top corner for the 
in the third place and John Underwood's got a problem on the next he dropped two places, he goes back to fourth place can he resurrect the problem and get going again yes he can, he's back in the third and chasing Barry Liner for that second place as Mackett leads for Liner in second, Underwood in third Smith is in four, Lambert in five Great, great tricks in six, that's the six they come to complete the opening lap there Mackett looking for four and four in the heats of the 375, still Liner in second, Underwood is in third Smith is four, Lambert five, great tricks in six the six going down the back straight once again. Back is getting away at the front. John Underwood after Barry Liner for that second place. Two bikes between these two as they dive into that pitch corner on lap number two. The last stop flag being made ready then for Chris Mackett. Looking to make it four to four. The heat's on 375. Liner still hangs on to that second. Underwood again looking to improve upon third. Number in five. Great tricks in six. And John Underwood's got two on the inside of Barry Liner on the exit from that top corner as Mackett's the leader then for Underwood in second. Liner in third, Smith in four, Lambert five, Great Trick six. Coming out of that pits corner, 40 from the time. Chris Mackett makes it four to four names on the 375. John Underwood gets the second. Barry Liner is in third. Chris Smith is in fourth. Lambert in five. And Kim Great Trick in sixth position. It's impressive stuff from the. Uh, Chris Mackett, four rides, four winning rides. John Underwood has picked up four second places. Then we've got Barry Liner, then we've got Chris Smith, Dave Lambert, and Kim Greatrix, who's been busy, of course, all the afternoon building up on that 500 side car as well. So, race 29 result then. The win for number 68, Chris Mackett. Second number 77, John Underwood. And third, 246, Barry Liner. 73. 127. And 337. 1 minute 12.47. 1 minute 12.47. Race 30 then, fourth leg of the 350 solo, sponsored by Speedway Services. Delete 144, delete 213. Add in 33, Richard Smith. And delete 61 and 82. On the line then for the final lead of the 350 solos and Bob Dolman making a good start. Richard Smith's already alongside him. Richard Reed has got the third. Richard Reed trying to get through inside two rides. Richard Smith making the move around the outside. Smith leads and Dolman in second. Reed is in third. Those three virtually together on the entry to that top corner. Mitch Smith who leads them and Dolman holding second place. Reed has got the third. Coming out of that pitch corner and completing the opening lap. It's the British champion who leads them and Dolman holds that. He's clear going in the pitch corner once again. Dolman's got the second. Reed gets closer in third. Last lap flag B may ready then. Paul Richard Smith, who leads his last heat of the 350s. But Dolman's in that second place. Reed has got the third. They're roaring that top corner. Again, that familiar sweet right there in the outside there by Richard Smith. Dolman holding that second. He's getting away from Bob Dolman, who's coming under pressure from Richard Reed now as they go into the pits corner for the final time in the final eight of the 350s. It's Richard Smith who picks up the winning ride. Second place goes to Bob Dolman. Richard Reed gets the third. Daniel Glover is in fourth. Michael Bertle in fifth place. will defend his crown at Collier Street in uh, September. He leads around Bob Dorman, the thick of the action as has Richard Reed has always been the thick of the action all day today. Daniel Glover and of course Michael Ferg will be riders for the 350. The result and of race 30. Speedway Service is the sponsor. A win for number 33, Richard Smith. Second number 16. Bob Dolman and third number 56 Richard Reed 18 and number 9 right race 31 is the 1000cc sidecar final 48 25 22 30 228 and 362 on the numbers there's also the added incentive of the quickest time for the extra 25 quid that is by Colin Blackburn at the moment by 
by 0.06 of a second he is quicker than Rod Winterburn going into this 1000cc sidecar final so uh, Colin Bratborn, Simon Elliott lead them out then uh, equal scorer of course with Rod Winterburn and Liam Brown these are strength finals, obviously the points they get in the heats go for choosing the gates for these finals. Craig Smith is out there, Rod Winterburn, Fred Skinner, John Thorpe and uh, Steph Blind. Those are six crews coming out for this 1,000cc uh, sidecar follow. If Craig Smith is going right over on that far side then. Rod Winterburn just checking his looks if Colin Blackburn settled on one from the inside. Of course, there's six crews out for the first time this afternoon, so there won't be a groove for two of the crews because the most we've had out there has been four. So uh, there won't be a groove for some of the crews. No, it's Sapply looks if he's going right on the edge of uh, Craig Smith there. Rod Winterburn comes in alongside Colin Blackburn. That could be interesting. John Thorpe. Comes in, Fred Skinner settled for the inside, then Colin Blackburn, then Rob Winterburn, then John Thorpe, then uh, Craig Smith, and then Steph Bly. The six crews are ready for this 1000cc sidecar final. Starter walks away up from the tapes, and Rob Winterburn and Colin Blackburn get away together, but Rob Winterburn stole in a march as they go in the back straight the first time. Colin Blackburn in top pursuit, now Craig Smith has got that third. Fred Skinner is in fourth place, diving into that top corner for the first time. It's Rob Winterburn leads and Colin Blackburn. Step line five. John Hope is in six. They go up the back straight once again. It's Winterburn and Brown who lead them from Blackburn and Elliott holding that second place. They're getting away from Craig Smith who's got that third place. Vision Fred Skinner hanging on to that fourth spot now as they dive into that top corner once again. Last lap flag being made ready for crew number 48. Steph Fly is in five. Up the back straight goes your race with the Rob Winterburn and Liam Brown. They're clear going in to that top corner for the final time. They'll keep it on the gas, of course, because the quickest time is at stake as well. There's Rob Winterburn and Liam Brown. They win the big chairs final. Second place goes to Colin Blackmore and Simon Elliott. Third place plays on the Red Edge. Good ride by Fred Skinner to pick up the got Steph Fly and Jason Gill and six planes is John Thorpe and Ian Hawley. So I'm sure the big crews have come round on their lap of honour, so we show your appreciation for the big crews that are coming round on the lap of honour. We've got to Rod Winterburn and Liam Brown, they're just picking up an extra passenger to go round on the lap of honour there. As we see the other crews up on that top corner, so... Uh, all the crews coming around, so show your appreciation. It's always a privilege to see the big chairs in action, some cracking racing again. So show your appreciation. They're starting around on their lap of honour then for the uh, big sidecars. Led round by Craig Smith and Brett Edge. We're in the thick of the action all the afternoon. There's most is racing on the sidecar speed with Craig Smith and Brett Edge. Colin Blackboard is standing past just Simon Elliott done a superb job this afternoon. Fred Skinner and Stephen Russell, they'll be delighted with their fourth place. John Thorpe and Ian Hawley. And just going up that back straight, waiting to come round. The winner of that sidecar final, that's Rod Winterburn and Liam Brown, plus eight junior passenger. passenger coming round on their lap of honour so if they have won this thousand cc sidecar final the result then a win for number 48 rod winterburn liam brown second number 25 colin blackbourne and simon elliott and third number 22 craig smith and brett edge
then 228, 30, and 362. The winning time, 58.72. Right, you move on then to the next final, which is the upright final. 76, 10, 32, 1, 4, 3, 57, 2, 1, 6, 9, 1, 1, 20, 1, 1, 0, 16, and 1, 7, 4 will be a non-starter. So it's all again on the straight final. Could be an interesting one this upright final. Everybody gets away to a clean break. Tim Carrock's made a good start, but Steve Dawley, they come by to first off. Steve Dawley, they come by to first off. Steve Dawley, they come by to first off. Dorm has gone through in the second place, Kurnock has got the third, Fletcher is in fourth place, that Meekins is in five, that's the top five as they roar into that pits corner on the opening lap, it's Steve Dorm building himself a lead at the front end, can he keep it going in this final? Dorm leads from Dorm in second, Kurnock in third, Fletcher in fourth, Meekins in five, Fenner in six, Wild in seven, Joyce in eight, Meekins in nine, that's the top nine, as they go to the back straight once again, Steve Dorm leads going down that back straight into the pits corner, on lap number two, Bob Dorm is starting to close the gap as Steve Dorm got problems going into that pits corner start to peg back for second and third position as Dorr leads now on the last lap from Bill Roll up in front of his face and leads but Dorr is second turn off in third special and fourth Meekins in five Bella is in six they go to the back straight once again Steve Dorr leads halfway down that back straight it's still Bob Dorr and putting together his best one of the afternoon in this class he's got second place in this final Tim Kurnock has got the third Steve Dorr comes out of that final corner and is going to win the upright solo final Steve Dorr wins that one, Bob Dobbin in second, Tim Kurnock in third, Dave Fletcher four, Tom Meekins five, Arnie Fenner in six, Larry Joyce in seven, Aidan Wells in eight, Meekins in nine, Hard in ten place. So we show your appreciation, they're going to come round on a lap of honour, a superb upright farm, this may be probably the last time we could see Steve Doran action, he's rode here yesterday in the vintage, he's rode here again today and it's the first time he's kept it going for the complete distance, as Bob Dolman leads him round, Steve Dore comes round, Tom Meekins, Tim Kernoff, Dave Fletcher, Arnie Fenner, Barry Joyce, Aidan Wells, Julian Meekins, those are riders, show your appreciation, the riders in the upright final. Going to win for 110 Steve Dore. Second, at number 16, Bob Dolman. And third, 726, Tim Kernock. 216, 10, 32, 57, 19, 20, 911. 1 minute 9.60. 1 minute 9.60. Right, we move on then to the uh, penultimate race of the day, which is the fourth leg of the uh, 500 solos. AD Verity, kindly the sponsors, and number 91, Ashley Gardner, is the addition to the programme. Delete Lewis Davis. We move then to race 33, the fourth leg of the 500 solos. Away they go then, and it's Jody Hodgson making a good start, but Harlan Cook again comes out. Scott Campus goes through in the second place. Jody Hodgson's got the third. Barkley is in four. Julie is in five. They go to the back straight once again then. 
Cook leads it, then Campus in second, Holton in third, but Bart has gone around the edge of Holton to go through into third place, good race to deliver him for third and fourth, again Holton, Cook has cleared the front, Campus hung him down in second, Jody Holton, he takes that third, Bart again back around the outside, tremendous wide between his two, for third and fourth, we've got fifth place, Gardner is in sixth, leads it in seven, that's the seven, that's Holton Cook clear, going into that fifth corner on the penultimate lap then, Bart has now got the better up scrap with Holton for third and fourth places, as Cook leads him on the last lap then, then Campus on the Holton in four, Drury in five, Gordon six, Leeds in seven. The leader, Harlan Cook, down the back straight for the final time in the last heat of the 500 sellers. Looking for four to four there, Harlan Cook. He's got Campus holding that second place. Barclays now consolidated third. Hodgson now coming under pressure from four. Harlan Cook makes it four to four. Got Campus plus together his four second place. Barclay gets the third, Jody Hobson in four, Craig Drury in five, Ashley Gardner in six, Benjamin Leeds in seventh place. Show your appreciation then for the 500 lads. We had four cracking heats of 500, four impressive rides there for Nolan Cook on beat this afternoon. Scott Campus doesn't do too many grass tracks. He'll be pleased with his second place. Lee Barkman always in the thick of the action, as has been Jody Hodgson, Craig Jewelry. Very eventful a day for him, both in the 250s and the 500s. Then Ashley Gardner and Benjamin Leeds. Please show your appreciation up on that top corner. Race 33 result, then a win for number 7, Harlan Cook. Second number 178, Scott Campus. And third number 65, Lee Barclay. 63, 53, 10, 91, and number 3. 1 minute 4.28, 1 minute 4.28. So we're uh, coming into line then for the final race of the day, huh? that it should be the Norman Southgate Memorial Meeting. Uh, race for the Mo Norman Southgate Memorial Cup for the 500 sidecars and uh, six quality crews to contest. It's great to see Simon Beard back and back to something like his best form and uh, he's been out for quite a time. He's settling on the inside gate. Scott Dunn's gone for the outside. Now both these crews are unbeaten at the pro present moment. Dave Carver won for the outside. Gary Southgate next to him. Then Dean Norton. Yeah, and then Nancy Goodwin won from the inside. Now the crews we, we need to watch is inside and outside. Interesting choice of gates. They're both unbeaten. They both know which they think are the quickest gates. So the inside gate is unbeaten, the outside gate is unbeaten in this 500 sidecar final. Starra walks away for the final race of the day. Away we go to a clean break. Scott Dunn's made a good start from the outside. Simon Beard has gone away with him. Nancy Goodwin. Simon Beard is in second place, Andy Goodwin has got the third, that's a top three, they go in the back straight for the first time then, it's Scotton who's stolen the march in front and Simon Beard holding that second place, Goodwin has got the third, Carvel is in fourth, Southgate is in five, we lost Dean Norton and Joe Richmond on that back straight on the first lap then, and Scotton leads, but Simon Beard's really hunting him down now in second place, in black top into the top corner once again Scott Dunn the bike and it's Simon Beard turns very quickly on the top of that corner he's made two by fine Scott Dunn now as they go into the pits corner on lap number two look at the speed of Simon Beard going in to that pits corner if Scott Dunn go, goes wide Simon Beard will get up the inside but Scott Dunn holds with baby but Simon Beard's almost one time and they start last up can Simon Beard get wide inside Scott Dunn's got a quicker line back round the outside Simon Beard again it's very quick coming off that top corner they, they race down the other back straight with two bikes between them going into the pits corner for the final time Scott then with a slight advantage over Simon Beard in second play Scott then holds the inside line no way through for Simon Beard Scott Dunn gets all in line Simon Beard makes it second Anthony Goodwin is third Dave Carvel in fourth and Gary Southgate in fifth 
place. Can we have the ambulance to the middle of the track, please? Ambulance to the middle of the track, please. We have a crew on the middle of the track. Can the ambulance get there immediately, please? Thank you. So we hope we haven't got a serious injury in the very last race of the day. Dean Norton and Joe Richmond went on to the middle of the track and the... Uh, on that back straight on the first lap so show your appreciation then for the 500 sidecars the uh, Norman Southgate Memorial Trophy was at stake today and uh, cracking action there in that 500 uh, sidecar final so show your appreciation as they come round Simon Beard leads them round great to see him back in action again Simon he's got uh, Emily Cogman in the chair this afternoon Simon Beard and Emily Cogman we've got Scott and Anthony Goodwin they come round the lap of honour we've got Scott Dern and Paul Smith the winners of this primary class this afternoon Dave Carvel and Carl Webb they come round on their lap of honour Dave Carvel and Carl Webb poignant moment for Gary Southgate and Sonia Head of course it's Gary's dad that the trophy they're racing for this afternoon so Gary Southgate and Sonia Head come round their lap of honour and the winning crew this afternoon Scott Dern and Paul Smith who are going to lift the Norman Southgate Memorial Trophy result then of the final race of the day, the Norman Southgate Memorial Trophy, a win for 118 Scott Dunn and Paul Smith. Second number four, Simon Beard and Emily Coglin, and third number 30, Anthony and Scott Goodwin. 55 and 44. One minute 10.72, one minute 10.72. In third place, a fine afternoon's racing, Ashley Hill. And birthday boy as well today, Ashley. So double celebrations is third place and birthday as well. On the thruster. In second place, a superb performance, keeping the ladies' flag very much flying. Terry Massingham. <laughs> and the winner of the 250 is warming up nicely for the British Championship coming up very soon, Adam Ship. On the second. That'll go. That'll do. That's it. Please, Ashley. That's it, Ashley. No small. It's only small, I don't know. No good. There you go. First, second, and third in the 250s. Adam Ship, Terry Maskell, and Ashley Hill. On then to the 350s. In third place, Daniel Glover. Runner-up in the 350s, Bob Dolman. Thank you very much. Cheers. And the winner of the 350s again, warming up for that British Championship where he hopes to retain his crown, Richard Smith. Oh, Richard. Oh. That's it. All smile. Oh. Get in. He's ready. He's yeah. smiling. Smile for the camera. Smile. Come on, the birdie. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> oh. There you go. First, second, and third in the 350s. Richard Smith, Bob Dolman, and Daniel Glover. 500 solos. Third place. Lee Barfrit. In second place, he doesn't do too many grass tracks these days. A very impressive performance. Scott Campus. And the winner of the 500 solo superb on-beaten performance, Holland Cook.
That's it, just come in together. That's it, now we'll smile. Now we'll smile. That's lovely. There you go, you one, two, three in the 500. This is for the John Murray Trophy for the uprights. In third place, Tim Kernock. Come on up, darling. Second place, collecting his second award of the afternoon, Bob Dolman. And the winner of the uprights, and the trophy winner, a very, very eventful weekend. He didn't complete one race yesterday. He's completed, managed to complete one today. It was the one that counted. Your upright winner, Steve Dill! Show the trophies. Steve, show your trophy, the other little one as well. That's it. That's it. Right. No yourself. Well, the old, you're going to have a word with all the trophy winners. I'm instructed to have a word with the trophy. Steve? With a word, quick word with the trophy winners. Steve, a very, very eventful weekend, but it's all come good in the end. Yeah, I'm just, just relieved and glad to finish the race. It's, um, what, what could have gone wrong went wrong yesterday, and then, you know, we fought, split in half. Yesterday was just a nightmare, and today I was just, I just wanted to finish the race. But in the final, going to the, to the the second lap going at that bottom bend, my whole my engine just cut out, it died down enough and I thought that's it, points are gone again. But then it picked itself up and I thought thank God for that and I finished. But I knew I knew I had it in me if you get off the line and it ended up well. Good club. Enjoyed it. And the son's had his debut today? <laughs> yeah, Carl, bless him, he it's his first one, but he, he went in, in practice into the first bend, too hard, too low, uh, and he went down, and in all honesty, when it happens, it takes your confidence away, and if you, if you haven't got confidence, don't ride, because you're not safe to yourself or other people, but he did try and ride, uh, but he was... He's new to the sport and he's got a lot of learning. The more the more races he does, the more comfortable he'll get. But he's got a long way to go. But he's he's willing to have another go, so we'll, we'll help him out and see how he gets on. And that's going to be another big worry for your good lady, because she worries about you when you race. Now she's got the son to worry about. Oh well, yeah, but she ain't got to worry about me. That's it now for me. And um, we'll just both all worry about him. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Steve Dorr. Woo! Right, we move on then to the pre-75 solos for the Bill Barley Trophy. And to present the trophy is uh, Bill's son, Lee Barley, will present the trophy. There will also be a special presentation after he's finished with the top three. So, in third place, Barry Liner. Second place goes to John Underwood. <laughs> and the winner of the Bill Barley Trophy, superb on beat performance as he was yesterday, Chris Mackett. Oh, the trophy's turned. Come into the middle of the turn. 
Now you put it in the trunk. That's it. Now you need to get on the boat. Now you can jump up there. Are you going to take him? I'm ready. Come on, John. 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 Come on, Yep, very enjoyable weekend. Look. What was the main difference, smaller track, which do you prefer, the smaller track yesterday or the bigger track today? Don't mind either way, really. The bigger one's nice, you get a bit of a rest up the straights. And John Underwood was pushing you in all the races, wasn't he? Yeah, but I had to get him back for winning it last year. There you go, so he'll be back out for revenge next year. Oh, I expect so. Thank you all. Well, Chris is here. Just hold on, Chris. We'd like to call Carol up, please, from the Macmillan people. If Carol's here, can she come forward, please? Now, this lady is going to go over the Himalayas, I'm told, as well. She's also been round with the buckets again today. Please come up, Chris. Come up, Carol, please. And on behalf of the Fenlands Grass Track Club, Terry is going to present you with a cheque for £100 for the Macmillan Fund. So, on behalf of the Fenlands Grass Track Club. So, uh, thank you for all those who put into the collection bucket. And there's another £100 to help start the coffers as well. Thank you very much. Hold the cheque. That's it. Nice work. Nice work. Lovely. Oh, thank you. There you go. Thank you very much. And best of luck with that walk to raise money for a very, very worthy cause indeed. The Sean Ducker Trophy now for the 1,000cc sidecars. We thank them very much for putting up this extra money for this event. In fourth place, Fred Skinner and Stephen Russell. Don't forget Fred's meeting at Worcester in October, the final round of the Bill Bates Championship stuff. We move on to the top three, and in third place, Craig Smith and Brett Edge. In second place in the thousand sidecars, Colin Blackburn and standing passenger Simon Elliott. And the winner of the 1,000cc sidecars for the Sean Ducker Trophy, Rob Winterburn and Liam Brown. Come on, let's tell you. 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 Come on, very, very busy, yeah. Uh, it's paid off. We weren't going to come. Uh, we needed to go home, really. We were all tired. We had six hours sleep since Thursday. Uh, and Liam says, uh, he comes out with his bright idea to sleep. Oh, we'll call it Fenland on the way home. Just clean up. I said, well, Colin won't be happy. <laughs> so here we are, and we've done it. Where are you, if you like to tell the people exactly where you have been racing then, Liam? Uh, we've just come back from Germany this morning. 
brilliant track out there, but same here today, they've put a good show on and it's all gone well. And warming up nicely again for the Mars, I think you've probably been the informed crew so far this year, but Mark Cosser's getting better, uh, Rob Wilson put in a big display at Collier Street last week, it's all warming up nicely for that Masters, isn't it? Yeah, we'll just go out and do the best we can, as we normally do. Can you do it, Rob? Uh, I hope so, yeah. We'll try his best. I know you've been there all thereabouts for many, many years. Hopefully this year will be the year for you. Uh, we hope so, yeah. Something, something only goes wrong, but this year we've, we're going to try and prepare for it. There you go, your sidecar winners. Bob well, Winterby and Liam Bryan, thank you very much. can't trust your wife to do anything. Right, we go on then to the 500 sidecars. In third place, Anthony and Scott Goodwin. And this trophy will be presented, of course, by Doris Southgate. So, Doris, to come forward, please. Okay, these are the third place. Doris has got the trophies there for the Norman Southgate to Anthony and Scott Goodwin. In second place, great to see him back racing, Simon Beard and Emily Coglin. Simon's first meeting back since, of course, he had that problem at the uh, High Easter. Great to see Simon back and in such good form. What's the matter? We're in the way. No, you need to get down there. <laughs> Show your trophies. No smile. And the winners of the Norman Southgate Memorial Trophy are for a splendid final, unbeaten all day. The winning crew, Scott Dunn and Paul Smith. Daisy. <laughs> Daisy! No. Do you want to do it the way round? Oh, I've got the big one. Hang on, you are giving the big one. Hello. Got another one. Oh, hold that one, Daisy. You come in the front and hold that one. Oh, no. Oh, that's nice. I'll take you to hold it then. That's lovely. Come on, Daisy. Look at the man. Come on, Daisy. Nice small Daisy. Oh, on the podium with her now. And Daisy. Daisy, you've got to go on there as well. Go on, Daisy. Go on, Daisy. Come on there. Now he's got to do that way. See the front of the the In the middle. And then Daisy at the front. Come on, Daisy. That's, That's it. That's it. Come on. Hold up. Nice smile there. Daisy. Lovely, lovely picture. Sure. There you go. We'll grab a quick word with the uh, morning crew then. Do you want boxes for your trophies? No, you're all right. No, we'll go straight on the mantelpiece. They'll, they'll have a piece of gold to go with it. That's how you Don't want to wait his time, Paul. Scott, a terrific final. Yeah, I didn't really know that much about it really. I mean, I made a half decent start and I was off trying to create dust. Um, bit of a tactic, but um, no, I was happy with it at the end of the day. Interesting, Paul, you chose the outside and Simon went for the inside. You were both unbeaten going in to that final. It was interesting, such a, you couldn't get farther apart on the, on the starting line, could you? No, we was uh, watching the races before and it just seemed to be a bit of a flatter run and the winners seemed to come from the outside gate so when Simon chose the inside it was come on 
and then we we love the outside, you know, and uh, we did get a good start, which uh, is the main thing to try and get in the first turn. Very successful week, cracking final at Collier Street, which were on the rostrum again. That was a superb final, wasn't it? It was a superb final, but for us it was a little disappointing to um, be uh, leading into the turn and uh, getting picked on the line, but, um, you know, so be it as uh, another day um, at Collier Street, which is in a, in a couple of weeks' time. That's the next question, Scott. Obviously, warming up for Collier Street and the British final. Uh, obviously, an impressive performance down there last week and looking to go even better in a few weeks' time. Yeah, we're always looking to go better, to be fair. I mean, that's why we're all here. Um, struggled a bit this season with a bike and obviously having Paul on board this season, but um, things are starting to come together now, so uh, hopefully uh, we'll, uh, we'll be in with the show. Thank you very much indeed, you, you uh, Norman Southgate, Cy Carwinner, Scott Dunn and Paul Smith. Thank you very much. Two final awards we've got for this, e this afternoon is for the £25 for the uh, quickest uh, solo and the quickest sidecar, kindly put up by Ray Purcell. The £25 for the quickest race for the solo is Harlan Cook. <laughs> Yeah, all right, then. Oh, Is he still asleep? No, he's still standing there. Do you want a picture of this or not? Yeah. What's this one? Fastest love. Fastest heat. Put your nose up. Wave him all around. Make him feel good. Don't be naughty. Right there, lads. Nice smile. Well, you'd be very happy to see you there. Just hold on a second, will you? Right, the, um, for the £25 again put up by Ray Purcell for the fastest uh, thousand sidecar heat, it goes to Colin Blackburn and Simon Elliott. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That does conclude the presentation on behalf of Fenland Grass Track Club. Thanks for being with us. Hope you enjoyed the two days of racing. Don't forget their presentation on Saturday, the 12th of November. Thanks very much. Have a safe journey home. Thank you.